Huntsville Ham Fest 2023. Let's check in with Tar Hill and see what's new. Some pretty cool stuff going on with Tar Hill Designs. All righty, we're here with Robert Young, NC4RY. Yep, and Robert, we were uh, doing a little bit of B-roll here for the Tar Heels, and our club actually has one of the, it looks like a 100 HP Pro. It might be the, I think it's the one, the 100. But uh, how long have you been making this particular design? And, and I, I started Tar Heel antennas in 2000. I worked off-road as a forester, and I was beating up antennas, and I just wanted to design an antenna that would, you know, last a a little longer than what was on the market. Right. So I, that's when I started building antennas. I worked at, I built those, designed them, got them in good shape up till um, about 2008. And then I sold the company to a, a group out in Missouri and I worked for them up to, up to 2023. January 2023, I started over again. Uh, it's a little bit different, some di designs, a little different designs. Uh, a little bit of improvements, mm -hmm. trying to help out the HOA guys. I'm kind of focusing on that a lot. Right. That's a big issue right now, the HOA stuff. And and I still do mobile, but uh, I am putting more effort into the HOA guys also. To just uh, And ideas, I need ideas. Uh, give me your situations and let me figure out something. And, and build something. Build something, yeah. One of the things we were talking off camera is you've actually uh, made some improvements to the older designs. Yeah. And you were talking about resolution. Can you describe that again? Yeah, we use a, I'm using a quad counter in the, in the antennas now instead of just a simple magnet counter. And what that does is, is increases your resolution about 400%. Wow. That makes, so that makes it, you know, when you go to using a memory controller, uh, that, that makes the resolution a lot better. Right. And uh, the motors that we're using is a lower amperage motor because Pittman is made as a high torque motor, so it actually runs at a lower amperage. So that's going to improve things on the long cable runs. Right. If you're using dipole, you know, 100 foot, 200 foot runs. So uh, that's, a, that's a nice improvement. The next uh, real nice improvement is we're using ball bearing, thrust bearing now instead of sleeves. Nothing was wrong with the sleeves. It's just, if I was gonna make some improvements, I might as well just make them all while I'm doing it at one time because it was no real extra expense. Uh -huh. So we're using ball bearing, thrust bearings in it now, and we used a, a soft rubber uh, sleeve in the top to keep compression on the top thrust bearing. So that eliminates any side to side play in the Any wobble? And any up and down movement with the new bus. Uh, right. So that's really nice, just small improvements, but just, just real nice improvements. And then I just happened to catch this, uh, display this display that you've got here yeah. is this truly a dipole or this is, this is a dipole this is uh this is the large coil or uh, this has got the large coils in it it's not you know popular because it's so expensive uh the smaller one is the, is the most popular one but uh this this is our our model 1000 antennas it's three and a half inch coils on these this is a uh, pretty nice antenna yeah. we got it set up here on display with the, with you know capacitive hands just you know to get everybody to stop and take a look sure you can do any kind of combination on the end of these antennas you want you can do just a single whip and do or element and do 10 through 80 like you see it now with the hats mm -hmm. it's 17 through 80 you can put longer elements on it and you'll lose some upper bands but you get more performance on the lower bands it just depends on the real coverage that you want and uh that it's a pretty it's a very impressive antenna but it's not our most popular because no i would imagine it isn't and does it require two tuners then to uh, right uh, right now tunematic makes a double controller for us so that's the reason we we built these antennas in 2004 2005 but we didn't have a controller so tunematic built us a double controller and right now he is just about finished we've been testing just about finished the full auto for the dual antennas. That'll read the frequency from the radio and just take the antennas out. That will be a very nice improvement. We just gotta make sure we get all the bugs out of it. We've been sure. testing that for close to a year now and we're fixing little bugs and, and hopefully that'll be out real soon. I'm looking forward to that. Well, but, the, but the memory controller that we have now works so good. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't think many people would change from that. All righty, well, Robert, thanks for a little bit of your yep. time this morning here at the Huntsville Ham Fest. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we use one of these uh, yep. when we go out with our trailer all the time, and uh, we we're very fortunate to have one of your products. Yeah, and if you got any questions, all you got to do is call me. I'm always around somewhere. Um, I try to help anybody I can with it because, you know, a lot of questions sometimes. Absolutely. And installing, installing, 
you know, everybody that knows me over the last 23 years know I'll help you. If you call me, I'll help you. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks so much, Robert. Thank you.